hello everyone so in this technical video we will explore if we have a WSL stall then how we can use in a GUI so first we need to sudo apt get upgrade and update we need to run this both command it will ask you your uh, root password like in my case I have a airflow and I am passing airflow password so once it's connected then it will updating my WSL environment so actually it's, it's like a patch in Windows that you have a, whenever you get a new update it will setting up if you have already run then you don't need to uh, to run this command but it's a good idea that you need to run this again so nano etc is the editor nano is the editor and etc resolve dot config file if you f see that your name server is uh, uh, IP is different then you can please provide proper name you can write anything which is related to a computer so if you're okay then do not change file otherwise you please to change the setting IP and name of the system accordingly so GUI actually is uh, for GUI related thing we need to uh, first check LSB release A actually this is not an important command but it's just showing the status what code name we have what release we are using so just this that are we are going to satisfy this or not so sudo apt install new new I think new is not a command so I'm going to change it new fetch is a command I'm going to write new fetch sudo apt install new fetch yeah so it will actually install the related libraries for new fetch so let me click yes hit enter okay it's going to updating my system and then new fetch once you run new fetch it will also show the icon like this and interface like this it means that you are good to go then you need to use x fce4 x fc4 has a folder stall it was an XFCE goodies and after this you need to run or backup your XRD file uh, once you backup it then you can see the folder let me show the backup files once I run this command let me hit enter okay actually this is a important command for XRDP this is a uh, my backup file is created okay so my backup file is created and XRDP has been set up now I have to open a uh, editor a uh, file in, in editor start VM let me open start VM where I need to first uncomment X session like I do and start X F C E four X F C four and X R D P will work in a GUI. So by using sudo etc init dot db x r d p start I have started successfully my environment. Now I'm going to remote desktop and here we go. I will need to use localhost double three nine zero port. You can change the port as well. Um, and here my username like my user is airflow and my password accordingly to the airflow and let me hit ok it will take a if you are using first time then it will take maybe some few more second than usual so let me show you that it's loading the environment and screen is locked so unlocking the screen airflow okay so you can see the uh, Ubuntu interface like GUI WSL in a window so I hope you like this video thank you very much for watching this video